Hi friends, welcome to my channel Amazing World of Archie. In this quick video I will share a sneak peek of the 17th book of the Wimpy Kid series, Diaper Overload. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's read the first chapter of the book. Diary of a Wimpy Kid Diaper Overload by Jeff Kinney December, Monday I always thought I wanted to be rich and famous but now I'm starting to wonder if fame and fortune are worth all the hassle I'm sure it would be great to be a celebrity because it'd be nice to get the rock star treatment and see your name in lights. But there's only so much attention one person can take and I bet that kind of thing would get kind of old after a while. If you're famous, you can't just turn it off whenever it's inconvenient. And it wouldn't be much fun getting mobbed for autographs and selfies all the time. When you're a celebrity, you can't even take care of your personal business without everyone finding out and posting about it on social media. And when you're out in public, someone's bound to snap a picture of you when you're not looking your best. On top of that, everyone feels like they have the right to know all the details about your personal relationships, which can't be a lot of fun either. Speaking of relationships, when you're a celebrity, you never know who you can trust, because even the people closest to you will be happy to air your dirty laundry if the price is right. The celebrities who have it the worst are former child stars because after they grow up and fall out of the spotlight they have to learn how to live like regular people. And I'm sure it's no fun being someone who used to be famous. People recognize former child stars even after they've become adults. And I'd like to be able to enjoy a meal with my family in public without getting hassled by fans later on. Say, Zuby Mama, say it. That wasn't even me. Don't get me wrong. It would be nice to have mansions and expensive cars and all the other stuff that comes with being famous. I just won't want to deal with the downside of fame. That's why it would be awesome to be friends with someone who's famous. Then you'd get all the perks of being a celebrity without any of the negatives. Famous people are always traveling the world and going on fancy vacations and I could definitely see myself getting used to that kind of lifestyle. Especially if I wasn't the one paying. Ah... Plus, if you're friends with someone who has more money than you, you can always count on them to pick up the tab. Does this steak look medium rare to you? And if you and your famous friend ever have a falling out, it wouldn't be the end of the world, because people will pay good money for juicy celebrity gossip. The only problem with my plan is that I don't have any friends or on track to become famous and even though I've tried to encourage my friend Rowley to start making a name for himself he just doesn't seem all that interested. So I've decided that what would be even better than being friends with a celebrity is being related to one because you know your Christmas presents are gonna be way nicer if you've got a rich person in the family. My older brother, Roderick, actually has big plans to become a famous musician. 
but I just don't know how realistic it is to be successful when your band's name is Loaded Diaper. Aside from the name, Loaded Diaper has a few obstacles standing in their way. The first one is that they still practice in our basement, even though my parents probably wish they didn't. We're leaking through your speakers like a chocolate cow. On top of that, Loaded Diaper hasn't played an actual show in more than a year, and the only member of the band who's not in high school is the lead singer Bill, but he's 35 years old and lives in his grandma's basement. Even with all that, Roderick still thinks Loaded Diaper can make it to the big time, and he's come up with a plan for how they can do it. There's a competition called the Battle of the Bands that's held every year, and Roderick thinks if Loaded Diaper works hard to get ready, they can actually win it. Roderick's favorite band, Metal Chihuahua, won the Battle of the Bands when they were just starting out. I'm not a big fan of that kind of music, and the only reason I've even heard of Metal Chihuahua is because Roderick's bedroom is plastered with their posters. Roderick says the Battle of the Bands competition launched Metal Chihuahua's career, and afterward they were on the cover of every magazine. Metal Chihuahua broke up before Roderick got a chance to see them play, so everything he knows about them is from magazine articles and old concert footage. But when Bill was 10 years old, his grandma took him to see Metal Chihuahua on their last tour, and he's always bragging about it to Roderick. In fact, Sometimes Bill still wears the t-shirt he got from the concert, even though he probably shouldn't. I have no idea if it's realistic for Loaded Diaper to win this competition or not, but if Roderick's band actually goes on to fame and fortune, I'm going to be the one to tell their story, because if I have to suffer through Loaded Diaper's band practices, I figure I might as well get something out of it. Wednesday. Roderick told his bandmates that one of the reasons Metal Chihuahua got people to take them seriously early on was because whenever they were out in public, they looked like they were already famous. He said the first step in making people think you're a rock star is to dress like one. So that night, the guys went to the mall to buy some cool outfits, but they found out the trendy clothes are really expensive, and that ripped jeans cost twice as much as brand new ones, so they left without buying anything. That's it for now. Hope you get your copy of the book soon. Bye for now.